Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco number 114A. This is a mill finish aluminum interlocking threshold is what this is. This is a, a bit of an atypical uh, interlocking threshold because it's so short, but we'll go over that in a moment. Um, this sort of threshold is always going to include a hook strip. This is what the hook strip looks like. It's sometimes called a J-hook, if you use your imagination. You can see why it's called that. This part number is 61Z, Z as in zinc, and is always included. When you buy a 114 threshold, you will always get a hook strip, a J-hook, specifically. Uh, this is available in, obviously, the A finish, which is mill aluminum. It's available in the B finish base material as well. B stands for architectural bronze. That architectural bronze is priced, uh, you can do it a number of ways. Mill, just what it looks like when that it is that bronze is extruded. You can do a satin finish on that. You can do a polished, a satin brass finish. Brass bronze, the term is used interchangeably. You can do a polished brass finish on it and that would have a clear lacquer over it. You can do an oil rub bronze finish and you can even do some custom finishes on it as well. Uh, black, satin chrome, polished chrome, things of that nature. It's solid architectural bronze, so custom finishing can be done to it. It's also available back to the aluminum in the D finish, which is dark bronze, anodized, and then finally the G finish, which is gold anodized. Uh, this would become a, a piece of bronze or architectural brass, architectural bronze brass material, if you ordered the brass. You can also do uh, Pemco's hook strip that is an L, and the L will go over in a moment how that works. So, let's go over the dimensional properties of this first. I mentioned it was unusual or atypical. It's only atypical because you don't see short ones like this that often. This is four and a quarter wide. This is half inch tall. But I like the half inch size because uh, it works well with a new installation where you don't have an excessive undercut, like a one inch undercut or even greater under the door, which is typical for some interlocking thresholds, like a seven eighths height or an inch and a quarter height. I personally find that that is a substantial amount of obstacle to be constantly walking over. Residential application certainly is what this is going to be used for. Uh, if you're doing a new installation, this brings that door closer down to the floor, a much lower sort of profile, doesn't really compromise any sort of design. Uh, idea, uh, the fact that it's lower down. The one thing that it doesn't have compared to a higher interlock threshold is this weep hole sort of uh, design. So what that means is there is a, on thresholds that are taller than this, if you look at the profile of this, this threshold actually kind of comes up and comes back down. If this came up and down like an inch and a quarter, this profile would hip down greatly and then what happens is inside of that inside the crotch of this interlocking threshold is drilled a small hole like two or three of them for a three foot threshold then in the face of the threshold is just filed a small notch two or three of them typically two uh, down the length of the threshold and the concept there is that any water that got inside of here would weep underneath the threshold and back out um, not really possible, certainly not possible on a small threshold or a short threshold like this. There's no, the water would just run down if that were to happen. Speaking about that, uh, a related idea is that when you are adding this to the cart, you'll have to select if you want a water pan. A water pan is nothing other than a piece of sheet metal. It's either aluminum or it's brass, and that's designed to sit, right, it's very thin gauge material, it's designed to th sit underneath the threshold. In a weep hole sort of system, makes a lot of sense. The weep holes are there to help, you know, run water out and back, uh, down and back out. Uh, but it is a barrier between anything that might get under the threshold and your sill, whether it's wood or alumina, uh, pardon me, or some sort of masonry product. I find that it to be a very inexpensive, especially the aluminum insurance policy, that if you decide not to use it, you can dispose of it. So that's the concept of the water pan. Now, a lot of people love as do I, I'm partial to interlocking thresholds. This is how the system works. This is gonna be nailed to the bottom of the door. And by the way, 
this will these are just six inch samples this will always include nails this will always include screws they're about a number 10 by inch and a half something in that range this will get nailed to the bottom of a uh, of a square bottom door that will communicate just like this every time the door opens and closes now you can also take and mortise the bottom of the door to give yourself a little mortise so you can tuck this up into the door and then run the door a little bit longer down should you want to that's not unusual it's not uncommon it's not the common way to do it but people do it I personally would like to have my door drop down in front of this a little bit so that I you know you'd have to get down on the floor and look you wouldn't see any of this underneath whatsoever no void run that down a little bit I might be tempted to take that 3 16 or whatever the dimension is and make that uh, appropriate especially if I was doing a new installation I would want to do that this side is generally the exterior naturally your door is going to reside over this area this would be the interior you know you could certainly if your application called for it reverse all that and do something quite different if you wanted to uh, however you end up using this to solve your uh, condition uh, so be it it's all good there's no hard and fast rules now people are partial as I said earlier I'm partial to interlocking uh, not only thresholds but per perimeter gasketing as well you can get interlocking threshold and it's because I have personally seen this system installed and successfully working decades after the original installation and generally this material will work on an incredibly long-term uh, life expectancy because well it's mechanical it's nailed it's metal it's aluminum it's firmly fixed there's nothing there's nothing chemical based that's going to fatigue with time or exposure to the elements or ultraviolet light this is incredibly durable and generally the only time that you find there a need for any sort of refit is that the hook strip unintentionally gets damaged door is open uh, there's an obstacle behind the door like a rug a shoe uh, you know something like that is underneath the door uh, and then you push the door open and you destroy the the, the, the J-hook that needs to get replaced no problem it's a 61 Z very inexpensive sort of item uh, this is by the way white coat galvanized is what this is that is a corrosion resistant steel based product okay so it's white coat galvanized steel and people are partial to it for that reason as am I I think it's a great sort of system and again you can do perimeter gasketing uh, in a uh, interlock threshold as well from Pemco. Um, Pemco has a variety of interlocking thresholds that are going to change with the width and the height to suit whatever your conditions are. You do have that option of different finishes and base materials. You have that option for the L style hook strip. We can help you with that as well should that come to pass. Available in several different lengths on the website. Uh, everything from two foot to eight foot. If you have need for a custom length by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. Here's the logic. If this happened to be a four foot piece or three foot for that matter, that first countersink is going to be four or five inches from the edge. If you had to take a four footer and cut it down to 42 inch, you're going to eliminate that first countersink. Now it's no big deal drilling a new hole typically, but sometimes it's more of a challenge to countersink that hole. Plus, if you cut it and drilled it in the field your centers would not be consistent down the length of the threshold so if you ordered a custom length we'd not only cut it to the proper length but drill that first and center to center countersink at the proper distance from each other and from the end uh, so you're welcome to do that now the name Pemco is synonymous with all things weather stripping related not only a comprehensive offering of residential weather stripping which is really where you're going to see this installed they also are going to do not only all of the uh, interlock thresholds but they'll do oak and aluminum adjustable top thresholds that you'll see in pre-hung doors and frames uh, they're going to get into the curved in style uh, weather stripping that's very typical and common with the different reaches different colors Pemco is great because they're going to give you the dark brown the black the white sort of finish uh, but to add to that argument in terms of them being a comprehensive provider when you see their commercial weather stripping they have the most extraordinary diversity of weather stripping from uh, any um, weather, weather stripping manufacturer that I work with 
and uh, if you're looking for something that you know other people don't have, definitely uh, familiarize yourself with Pemco's catalog. You can do so by clicking the link below this video to their manufacturer page, or you can pull up their full line catalog. Uh, if you have any questions on the Pemco 114A interlocking threshold or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.